Studio. We're making a penguin next. Do you know what a group of penguins is called? Um, a hood, a back, I don't know. It's actually a trick question. They're called different things at different times. When they're on land, it's called a waddle or a colony of penguins. And once they get into the water, they're called a draft of penguins. Oh, that's so confusing. Can we just make one? Right away, let's get started with what we need for the penguins. We start with brinjal penguins. Brinjals, a knife, carrots, googly eyes, toothpicks and super glue. So we're going to start off on a brinjal penguin. You're using a bangan. Yes, who thought a bangan can be fun? No one. <laughs> so we'll start by snipping off the base of the bangan so that we can make it stand. And you cut the base if you want it leaning or standing however you want it. I'm going to do a slightly slanted one. Our bacon is now standing. Next, we need to make the belly of the penguin. But please do not use knives. Have an adult do this for you. With the belly done, we move on to the flaps of the penguin. For this, you turn it to the side, the flaps on the side, right? So, we'll make small incisions, maybe like three-fourths of an inch. That is it. And now moving on to the other side at the same level. And you can roll it up just a little bit with your fingers to have it standing up. There you go. Cool, there are the flaps of the penguin. So with that done, we move on to the feet and the beak of the penguin. What are we going to use for that? We're going to use sturdy slices of carrot for this one. We start with the beak. We're going to use the outer orange ring of the carrot. Simply make a triangle, that's all. Quite simple. One this side and one incision on the other. So we have our beak there. And now for the feet. Remember, penguins have webbed feet. So we work like this. So we start by making a small triangle and we pull this one out. Next. Smaller incisions to give it that webbed look. Discard the second web. And now that we have a couple of webbed toes. Are those toes? Yes. Aren't they looking like toes? Yes, a little bit. Okay. Moving on to the next foot. So we give the other foot a webbed look. Here we have our webbed feet. For the next step, we have bits of toothpick. And with our things ready here, we take the beak first and the flat part, we insert a toothpick and simply attach it to the face of the penguin. It's quite soft so it should go in easily. Just like this. Make it go right in. Wonderful. Excellent. The beak is there. With the nose set, take a bit of the toothpick, insert it on the back of the carrot. And Ruhani, you can place the body of the penguin onto the feet, okay. onto the base. Excellent! Wasn't that easy? Yeah. And what do you think is missing now? Eyes. Yes, that's the only thing missing. We're going to put some glue and have Ruhani stick the eyes. We've got two cute googly eyes, two little dots and Ruhani, time for you to shine. Wonderful. And there it is. Yay! A packet is ready. Doesn't it look cute? Yes. 